What's up guys, this is the Gamer13 and I'm coming back to you with another video. Today I'm going to talk about Battlefield 1 and Infinite Warfare, so let's get started. But first thing I want to say is, sorry I'm not uploading. I started to not upload in the beginning of summer and you think that's when I upload the most, but I got a job and I worked over 600 hours this past summer and I was super busy and when I got home I was like super tired and stuff. And when the summer was over, I lost my PlayStation Plus, and then I was busy with cross country at my school. But hopefully, I'll be back making more content for you guys. I said that before, but I'm gonna try harder this time. So, Battlefield 1 and Infinite Warfare. To just get this out there, I'm probably not gonna get these until Christmas. Usually, I buy the games in November when they first come out or on Black Friday, but I was too busy, like, like I said earlier, I was too busy with work and stuff and I wasn't too excited about these games. And we're on our third futuristic Call of Duty three years in a row, and that's kind of annoying. And Battlefield took a turn with the modern style, and it looks like they went olden time, sort of. But yeah, I was just watching some gameplay of Infinite Warfare, and, and what? They got robots? I know they have robots in Black Ops 3, but that, there was only one robot in Black Ops 3. I was watching some gameplay of of Infinite Warfare, all I saw were robots. Like, what in the world? I'm not a fan of too much futuristic stuff. Like, I like futuristic Call of Duties because I loved Black Ops 3 and I loved Advanced Warfare. Most people didn't like Advanced Warfare, but sure. Um, I like that, and they were all futuristic, but I think they just went too far with this. I think they should just give people what they want, like a Modern Warfare type game. And I might get Modern Warfare, but the only thing is I had to buy Modern Warfare and Infinite Warfare together. So yeah, and that's going to be $100. I might get Battlefield 1 first, just for the fact that it's cheaper and my friend says it's better and I might get that first. And it's more realism to, um, in, uh, to Battlefield 1. Even though I don't like realistic FPS games, I like the futuristic out of this world Call of Duty game. And so that's why but I still might be getting Battlefield 1 before Infinite Warfare and before I get these games I'm gonna be showing you guys still some Black Ops some old Black Ops 3 gameplay because I do not have the games yet but when I do that's when I'll start using the um, gameplays and hopefully I won't be a super noob to Battlefield 1 or Infinite Warfare because everyone will have already had the game for like a month or two but yeah um that's basically it. I'm sorry. I'll try to be back uploading, giving you guys some new information on Infinite Warfare and Battlefield 1 or and Modern Warfare 4. But um, the thing about it is that I just ha don't have the games right now, but I'm making time for YouTube once again. So yeah, I hope you guys have enjoyed this video. If you guys did enjoy this video, can you guys please like the video, I guess. You don't have to if you didn't, but uh, yeah, I hope you enjoyed the video nonetheless. I'll be uploading more, and I'll catch you guys in the next video. Bye!